Hello, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, in this tutorial I'll be discussing about uh, the creation of uh, uh, soccer ball in the generated shape design workbench in KTV5. So we have our soccer ball almost uh, completely created and uh, the last part is to apply the material. So uh, for applying the material you need to make sure that uh, all the hexagons come under one join and uh, all the pentagons come under another. So I'm going to the join creation command here and next I'm going to carefully select all the hexagons. So hexagons, hexagons, hexagons. So you have uh, completely selected all the hexagons in your drawing and just uh, click on OK. So if you have this particular kind of error coming up that means that uh, there is some connex problem in the uh, figure. So uh, for rectifying that you can go for the healing command and you can do the same step of selection of the hexagons. So that particular kind of error was coming up because uh, the plane creation for the symmetry might not be, uh, you know, might be creating some gap between the surfaces. So a join command won't take uh, in such kind of situations. So uh, all your uh, surfaces are taken and uh, give the merging distance as 0 0.09 and click OK. Keep all sub elements and now go to the apply material and go to the painting and uh, select uh, attractive color for your <coughs> for your uh, soccer ball so my let me just uh, select a silver gray for uh, this or uh, say a white a white will do and uh, you can hide this and do the remaining selection go to the join command or the healing command and select the rest of your I've hidden the previous selection so that uh, you can select this instantly very easily 109 click OK keep on sub elements and now you're going to apply the material for this. So let me just apply, uh, say, a dark color. So painting, kind of uh, oil blue or uh, say uh, DS black. Let it be a DS black. So I'll click on OK and I'll just unhide this and you have your uh, beautiful ball being created so uh, the final part is the rendering so you can just uh, go to the rendering and uh, you can go set your uh, specification accordingly and do your lightings here uh, wherever you need the lighting and put your background uh, just click OK and do the rendering so it's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause our rendering here. So this is how your rendering is going to look like once you're uh, done with the rendering. So uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. So keep watching, subscribe me, like my videos, ask me doubts. Thank you for watching.